Bamboo Studio 2.0 is finally here, and it's packed with powerful upgrades, especially for anyone using the new dual nozzle printer for the upcoming Bamboo Lab H2D. This video is completely packed, and you don't want to miss the awesome changes to supports. My name is Nick, and welcome to my channel. I will be walking you through all the new features to help make it easy for you to digest. So let's dig right in. Let's start with one of the most impressive improvements. Optimize filament grouping. With dual nozzle printing, the way colors and materials are arranged can have a huge impact on material waste and print time. Bamboo Studio 2.0 now does the heavy lifting for you. It calculates the most efficient way to distribute and flush materials automatically, so you don't have to. And speaking of dual nozzle setups, this version introduces support for independent parameter settings. That means you can now fine tune each nozzle separately based on the material, nozzle type, or any other differences. This level of control is huge for users looking to maximize performance and print quality across complex jobs. The UI also got some much needed love. Managing dual nozzles and multiple AMS units can get overwhelming, but the new interface helps simplify everything. With smarter guidance built in, getting set up and started is smoother than ever, even for beginners. All of this is designed to take full advantage of the Bamboo Lab H2D, which Bamboo is calling a multifunctional manufacturing center. This machine, paired with the slicing intelligence in Studio 2.0, unlocks workflows we've only dreamed about, whether that means more efficient printing or entirely new creative applications. Now just a heads up, Bamboo Studio 2.0 is a major leap from the 1.0 versions. Because of the new workflow and features, older versions won't be able to fully load 3MF files created with 2.0. So if you want to take advantage of everything this release has to offer, go ahead and update now. To start, the entire printing workflow has been streamlined, from importing your model to launching your print, and every step has been fine-tuned for better efficiency. The first update? Full support for the Bamboo Lab H2D. There's now a dedicated H2D printer preset built into Bamboo Studio. And when selecting a printer, you'll notice that you no longer need to manually choose which nozzle to use. The software now handles that for you behind the scenes. Because the H2D uses dual nozzles with different ranges, the print bed is now split into three areas left only, right only, and a shared center zone that both nozzles can reach. You'll see this visualized right on the build plate, making it easier to know exactly where your model should go. And if you need more info, you can always check out the wiki or look inside the printer settings for detailed specs on each nozzle's printable area. Another small but super helpful improvement, if you import a 3MF file and the printer preset doesn't match the connected printer, Bamboo Studio will now prompt you to auto-sync the correct preset. This helps eliminate those easy to make setup errors and gets you printing faster with the right settings from the start. Now let's talk about syncing your printer and filament information, an essential part of getting the most out of dual nozzle printing on the H2D. Since each nozzle can be connected to different AMS units or external spools, Bamboo Studio 2.0 needs to know exactly how everything is set up. This ensures the automatic filament grouping algorithm works correctly and efficiently. To make this easier, there's now a dedicated printer sync button for dual nozzle printers. Once your H2D is connected, clicking this button will automatically pull in details like nozzle diameter, nozzle type, and how many AMS units you're running. Once synced, your AMS and filament status will be displayed clearly right on the screen. If you'd rather adjust things manually, no problem. You can still configure each nozzle for either a standard or high flow setup and select whether you're using a single slot or four slot AMS. Also, a new and improved filament sync function, also known as AMS Sync, has been introduced. After syncing your printer or when clicking the filament sync button, you'll get a pop-up that walks you through filament synchronization. You now have two options, the original override mode or the new mapping mode. Mapping mode gives you more control by letting you manually match each filament preset to the actual filament in your AMS or on an external spool. You can click on each preset to fine tune your setup. Just keep in mind, this step syncs the color and type of filament, but not the specific AMS slot it's in. That still needs to be managed separately. Now let's move into customizing your printer, filament, and process settings, especially important for dual nozzle printers like the H2D. With this update, Bamboo Studio 2.0 introduces a full suite of new presets and parameter controls built specifically to support multi-nozzle setups across a variety of printing scenarios. Starting with motion ability, you now have independent control over the left and right nozzles. That means you can fine tune speed, movement limits, and motion behavior for each nozzle separately, depending on the type of material you're using or the requirements of your print. In the filament and setting overrides tabs, you'll now notice that you can set specific parameters for different nozzle types. So whether you're working with a standard nozzle or a high flow one, Bamboo Studio will automatically apply the correct settings during slicing. Any settings related to nozzle type are marked with a small nozzle icon, so they're easy to spot. Uh, in the process tab, under speed, you now have the ability to control print speed for each nozzle individually. 
And if you tweak one and want the other to match, just hit the speed sync button to copy those settings over. It's super convenient when working with similar materials across both nozzles. Lastly, in the acceleration section, you'll now find two new options, initial layer and initial layer travel. These let you fine tune the acceleration specifically for your first layer, giving you better control over print quality and adhesion right from the start. All of these improvements are designed to give you more control and flexibility when printing with dual nozzles, making it easier to dial in the perfect settings for each part of your project. Now let's talk about one of the smartest upgrades in Bamboo Studio 2.0, filament grouping for dual nozzle printers. This new feature helps you optimize how filaments are assigned across the nozzles and AMS units with three different grouping modes to fit your workflow. First up is filament saving mode. This mode is all about reducing waste. Bamboo Studio will automatically group filaments to minimize purge and flush volumes. Just keep in mind that this may require you to manually rearrange your AMS slots or change filament connections on the printer itself, but the material savings can really add up. Next is convenience mode, which groups filaments based on your current AMS layout. It's the easiest option if you just wanna hit slice and go. You might use a little more filament compared to filament saving mode, but it's a great balance between ease of use and efficiency. And then there's custom mode. This is where you take full control and manually define the grouping order. It's ideal for more advanced users or projects that need a specific setup. You can set your grouping preference during slicing using the hover panel that appears, or dive into the details by clicking the grouping settings button next to each build plate. There's even a regroup button to quickly reshuffle things if you want to try a different configuration. No matter how you print, these grouping modes give you the flexibility to choose between saving time, saving material, or customizing everything exactly how you like. Once your model is sliced and ready to go, it's time to move on to the send print step. And this is where Bamboo Studio 2 adds another layer of flexibility for dual nozzle setups. The latest update now supports dual nozzle filament mapping right from the send page. This means you can directly link each nozzle's filament to the correct AMS unit or external spool on the same side of the printer. So if your left nozzle is pulling filament from AMS1 and your right nozzle is set to use an external spool, you can map that out clearly here. No guessing or double checking needed. And don't worry if you're using an X-Series, P-Series, A1, or A1 mini printer. Those models still fully support external spool mapping as well. It's all about making sure the right filament ends up in the right place with minimal setup and maximum reliability. Studio 2 now supports the AMS HT and the AMS 2 Pro. This means you'll get seamless integration with Bamboo's newest filament handling systems. Next, a redesigned dual nozzle display interface on the device page. You can now view and control the left and right nozzle temperatures independently. Check the status of each nozzle and even monitor the air conditioning system built into the H2D. You'll also see detailed info for each connected AMS on both the left and right sides. This new interface gives you full visibility and control of your dual nozzle setup in one place, making it easier than ever to manage complex prints and stay on top of every aspect of your printer. Other features to mention are next. Starting off with the render engine upgrade, shaders now support GLSL 140, unlocking more advanced visual rendering capabilities. And thanks to GPU picking optimization, only the objects closest to your cursor are rendered during interaction, which dramatically improves performance and responsiveness. You'll also spot a new highlight rendering effect that makes it easier to visualize and interact with selected models. The move and rotate gizmo now maintains a consistent size on screen no matter how far you zoom, giving you more precision and better control when adjusting your model. A handy new chessboard pattern highlights overhang areas, helping you quickly spot where supports might be needed. This is a great addition to the highlighted overhangs feature. From the community side, a gamma correction option for object file imports has been added. Big thanks to Sinana Koyon for that one. You'll find this option disabled by default, but it's available when needed. And for power users, there's a new toggle labeled Prefer to use high performance GPU, which can boost rendering on compatible systems. Just keep in mind that it may cause flickering on setups with multiple GPUs, so it's turned off by default. Finally, Bamboo Studio 2 has cleaned up a ton of unnecessary OpenGL calls and optimized the rendering pipeline to help make everything feel snappier and more fluid. These new features set the stage for a much more refined experience. Next, we'll take a look at the improvement features. There are over 22 improvements in this update. First up is a big one. Autoflow Dynamics Calibration has been completely reworked for dual nozzle printers. The calibration process is now more refined and the user interface has been updated to better guide you through it. Next, the flushing volumes page has been optimized. You can now independently configure flush settings for the left and right nozzles, giving you even more granular control over how materials are handled between tool changes. Speaking of materials, Bamboo Studio now supports up to 32 colors for your project filaments. That's a big bump considering the H2D supports up to 24 colors. 
You can also delete materials from any position in the list, not just the last one. Another major improvement, the Prime Tower. It's gotten a complete overhaul with new segmented zones based on material adhesion, improved travel pathing, and optimized collision detection. You'll find features like a ribbed outer wall with optional fill laying, automatic brim width based on tower height, and even an ironing step before each tool change to smooth the layer transition. There's also better ramming with double line width and a slew of new open parameters like max speed, ramming flow rate, travel time, and pre-cooling temperature. It's all about maximizing reliability and print quality when using multiple materials. And finally, for dual nozzle users, the heat bed texture display has been upgraded to reflect the exact printable zones for each nozzle. This helps eliminate any guesswork by showing you exactly where the left and right nozzles can operate. Next up is a smart upgrade that adds even more efficiency to dual nozzle workflows, preheating and cooling planning. With this new feature, Bamboo Studio will now automatically cool down the idle nozzle during printing to help reduce oozing or stringing while it's not in use. Then before it's needed again, the software will preheat that nozzle in advance, so it's ready to go without delaying the print. This intelligent temperature management helps reduce contamination, improves surface quality, and optimizes overall print time, especially helpful when you're working with two different materials or nozzles that have unique heating requirements. Let's move on to some exciting improvements to tree supports and support materials that make a big difference, especially for complex or delicate prints. Tree support optimization brings smarter overhang detection and better support classification. The software now more accurately identifies tricky slopes and flat areas, especially when using hybrid tree mode. This means the supports you get are better shaped, more efficient, and easier to remove. The system also improves sharp tail detection, which helps avoid those pesky, unnecessary support spikes in fine details. For hybrid tree supports specifically, you'll now get improved removability thanks to polygon nodes being automatically segmented, smoothed, and extended by 2 mm in the overhang zones. The supports also merge intelligently and can now generate brims for added stability, great for tall or wobbly prints. There are also default strategy updates when you're using dedicated support material. Non-organic tree supports now add two transition layers at low speed, creating a cleaner and more consistent support interface, especially useful for tricky overhangs. Plus, the path of these new layers is optimized so that each part supports the one above it more effectively, which improves both print success and surface finish. To help guide you when support material is detected, Studio will now prompt you to enable some tested settings. Interlaced rectilinear support patterns, hybrid tree style, just one outer wall for supports, and removal of bottom interface layers. These defaults were selected through real-world testing and provide the best mix of strength, removability, and print quality. All of these updates add up to cleaner supports, easier cleanup, and a better experience whether you're printing for looks, strength, or both. There are a few more polish points in this release that really help round out the experience. First off, tree support is now the default support type. After extensive testing, the team found that tree supports are generally more stable and easier to remove than traditional linear supports, especially for complex models. So from now on, unless you change it manually, your prints will default to using tree supports. Fan speed control has also been optimized. When printing overhangs that require extra cooling, the fan will now ramp up before reaching that section two seconds early. This helps eliminate any lag and airflow and keeps your overhangs looking clean and crisp. There are also two new sparse infill patterns added in this version, zigzag and cross zag. These new infills give users even more control over how their models are filled, offering unique strength and aesthetic options depending on the type of print. Big thanks to Hid Lucas for contributing the zigzag pattern. And finally, a quality of life upgrade, the new camera navigation tool. With the help of contributors from the Orca Slicer team and Noisy Fox, you can now zoom directly into a selected object or the entire build plate with a single button click. This makes managing your workspace and large projects a whole lot smoother. All of these tweaks may seem small on their own, but together they show how fast Bamboo Studio is evolving. The auto flush option has been optimized. When enabled, Bamboo Studio will now intelligently calculate the flush volume when needed, helping to ensure better material flow and reduce waste without any manual setup. A bug fix for the Arachne wall generator has also been included. Previously, users may have noticed some odd banding in their prints. That issue has now been resolved for smoother, more consistent walls. The object import window has been upgraded too. You now get multiple camera view modes and it supports models with up to 32 individual colors, which is especially helpful for multicolor or detailed projects. And finally, there's a handy new feature in the Lay on Face tool. You can now use triangle selection, which solves the issue where convex hull faces couldn't be selected in certain situations. It's a small change, but one that makes model positioning way more flexible. 
These last additions continue to refine Bamboo Studio's functionality and show how serious the team is about addressing both major and minor user feedback. Let's wrap up with a few more refinements that really polish the overall experience. The brim ear function has received several much needed improvements. First off, an issue was fixed where brim ear couldn't be used on certain non-Bamboo lab printers. That's now resolved. Also, real-time updates have been improved. If you made changes with the brim ear tool but didn't properly exit the tool, sometimes your data wouldn't save correctly. That's fixed too. Plus, brim ear will now only appear on the bottom layer, preventing any stray geometry from showing up in other parts of your print. Another notable improvement is the Z-Direction speed smoothing for outer walls. This helps reduce unevenness on model surfaces that may have resulted from sudden speed changes, especially in tall or sloped areas. Also added is Auto Circle Contour Hole Compensation. This allows you to fine-tune the fit of things like shaft holes by applying an offset. Positive numbers loosen the fit, negative numbers tighten it. It's a great tool for dialing in mechanical part tolerances. Just keep in mind this is separate from the standard XY contour compensation. The slope bulge issue, where some prints would swell or bulge in certain areas, has been fixed, making slope surfaces more reliable. And finally, for users printing multicolor models, a new interlocking beam structure has been introduced. This enhances the adhesion between materials, improving print quality and durability. Huge thanks again to Orca Slicer and Noisy Fox for helping bring this to life. That wraps up the overview for everything new in Bamboo Studio 2.0 upgrade. I hope this breaks down the improvements and helps you save some time digging through this all yourself. If you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe for more updates and tutorials. Thanks again for watching. My name is Nick, and as always, happy printing.